Hello everyone. In this lesson, we're going to look at the steps to set a static TCP IP configuration on Windows 11. A Windows computer does not require to have a static IP configuration, but it might be necessary in some situations like when you share services in the network, like files, printer, or you have to configure port forwarding. The reason is that if you don't assign a static IP address, services or port forwarding configuration will eventually stop working. The reason is that by default, connected devices use the dynamic IP addresses assigned by the DHCP server, usually your router, which can change at any time as soon as you restart the machine or after the dynamically assigned configuration expires. In this lesson, we're going to assume that you know what a TCP IP configuration is, you know the current network addressing scope, since you shouldn't assign an IP address that is part of the DHCP server scope, and you know the DNS and gateway addresses of the network. Okay, here is how to set a static IP address configuration on Windows 10. On Windows 10, you can change the network configuration in at least four ways, including using command prompt, control panel, PowerShell, and using the settings app. Although using commands may be challenging for some users, this is one of the quickest ways that you can use to set a static network IP configuration on Windows 10. And here's how. First, open start and look for command prompt or the Windows terminal. In my case, I like to use the Windows terminal, so I'm going to look for that. I'm going to right click the result and I'm going to select the run as administrator option. Then we're going to use the IP config forward slash all command to see the current network configuration for all the adapters installed on Windows 10. And I know that this computer is connected to the network using the Ethernet 1, which is the name automatically assigned to the Ethernet adapter for the computer. Then we're going to look for four specific configuration. First, the IPv4 address, the subnet mask, the default gateway, which is usually your router, and the DNS server addresses. And now that you know that information, we can create a command to set a static IP address on Windows 10. And the command is netesh interface IP set address. And on the name equals, you have to enter the name for the adapter, which in this case is Ethernet 1. Then we use the static option. And then we use the IP address that we want to assign to the computer. In this case, 10.1.4.220. And then for the subnet mask, we're going to use 255.255.255.0, which is the same the one that we've seen when we use the IP config command right at the top. And the 10.1.4.1, that's going to be the default gateway. And then press enter. So now we set a static IP configuration, but we didn't specify the DNS address. To specify the DNS address for the uh, configuration, we're going to use the netesh interface IP set DNS. Then on name equals, we're going to use the name for the adapter that we want to assign the DNS address, which is in this case, ethernet one. We want to assign it to the static configuration. So we're going to use static and then we're going to specify the actual DNS address, which in this case is 10.1.4.1, and then press enter. Finally, if you want to set a second DNS address, you can use this command, netesh interface IP add DNS name equals the name of the adapter, in this case, ethernet one, and then we're going to pass the secondary DNS, which in this case is 8.8.8.8, and the index equal to 2, because that will be the second DNS address that we're going to be adding to this configuration, and then press enter. To make sure that everything is working, we're going to type the IP config all command one more time, and as you can see, we have the Ethernet adapter 1, the DHCP it's set to no because we're using a static IP address. Here you can see that we have the IP address that we specify with the subnet mask, the default gateway, and the DNS server addresses that we specify. We can quickly check that we have a network connection by doing a ping. And in this case, we're just going to ping google.com. And as you can see, we get a reply that shows that everything is working. 
we can open the web browser and actually go to google.com and you see that it's working. If command prompt isn't for you, it is possible to use control panel to change the IP settings on Windows 10. And to do that, open start and look for control panel, then click on network and internet, then click on network and sharing center, and then click the change adapter settings option. In here, we're going to select the adapter that we want to change the configuration and then we want to right click on it and select the properties option in here we're going to select the internet protocol version 4 or tcp ip v4 and then we're going to click the properties button and in here you want to specify the static ip address that you want to assign to this specific network adapter which in this case is 10.1.4.220 so net mask we know is 255, 255, 255.0. And the default gateway will be the, the IP address of the router. On this case, 10.1.4.1. And for the preferred DNS server address, we're going to use the IP address of the router, which is 10.1.4.1. So technically, you don't need a secondary DNS IP address but if you're configuring the static settings in a specific way, you can use a secondary DNS address. And for the purpose of this video, I'm just going to use the Google's DNS public address, which in this case is 8.8.8.8. And then just click OK, and then click Close. And if you want to test the configuration, just open the web browser and just try to go to any website. As you can see, the configuration, it's working. If you want to check the current configuration, just double click the adapter and click on the details button. And as you can see, the IPv4 address is using the static IP that we assign. It's using the subnet mask that we assign and the same for the default gateway and the DNS server addresses. Windows 10 also includes the PowerShell command line platform that allows you to use the net TCP IP module to manage networking settings, including the ability to change the IP address of your computer to a static configuration. And to do that, open start and look for PowerShell or the Windows terminal. I like to use the Windows Terminal, so that's that's what I'm going to use in. So I'm going to right click on it and select the Run as Administrator option. Then I'm going to open PowerShell. And the first command that you want to run is the get net IP configuration and then press enter. And this is going to give us the current configuration for the network adapter. In this case, I have an Ethernet adapter, so it's named Ethernet 1 and then we need to make sure that we know the interface index, which in this case is 10, the IPv4 address to give us a reference of the current configuration. Then you want to know the IPv4 default gateway. And you also want to make sure that you know the current DNS server addresses that the configuration is using. You're going to need this information so you know how to build the command to assign the static configuration on the computer. So based on the current configuration, we can use this command to assign an static IP address on the computer using PowerShell. In this case, we're using the new net IP address command and the interface index of 10, which is this one right here that it tells the adapter that you want to be assigning the IP address, the IP address option. And in this case, we're using the 10.1.4.230, which is part of the network. The prefix length of 24, which basically assigns the 225, 225, 225, that zero subnet mask to the adapter. Usually this is the configuration that you wanna use, but if you're in a corporate network, or on a network that the network configuration is set differently, this might not be the, the prefix that you have to use. And then for default gateway, we're going to be using the 10.1.4.1, which is usually the IP address of the 
router and then press enter to assign the static IP. So we just assign the IP address configuration, but now we need to assign the DNS server address that we want to use for this specific configuration. And to do that, we're going to use the set DNS client server address command. The interface index will tell the command to apply the server address for the ethernet one in my case. And for the purpose of this video, the DNS server address that we're using is the IP of the router. Now, if you needed to assign more than one DNS address, you would use the same command, but you would add a comma and then the secondary address that you wanted to use. If you want to see that this configuration is working, we can use the get net IP configuration command. And as you can see, we have the IP configuration that we configure. And to make sure that this configuration is working, let's just do a ping to google.com. And as you can see, we get a reply and that shows us that everything is working. On Windows 10, you can also assign an IP address configuration using the settings app. This will work for a wireless or wire adapters. And to do that, open start and look for settings and open the app. Then go to network and internet. Then click on status. And in here, you can open the network adapter that you want to configure, or you can go directly to the adapter, in this case, Ethernet, and then selecting the current connection. Then under IP settings, click the edit button, select the manual option, and enable the IPv4 option. The IPv4 option, it's all you need most of the time, but you also have to understand that there is a version six of the IP protocol that you can use, but usually you don't need to use it. So we're going to be focusing on the IPv4 version of the protocol. On the IP address field, we're going to type the IP address that we want to use. In this case, 10.1.4.230, which I know is outside of the scope of the DHCP server on the network. For the uh, subnet prefix length, we're going to use 24, which assigns the subnet mask of 225.225.225.0. For home networks, that's usually the prefix that you want to use. However, if you're in a large network or in a place that is using subnet differently, this number might be different. For the gateway, we're going to use the IP address of the router, which in this case is 10 that one, that four, that one. The preferred DNS address usually will be also the IP address of the router. So for the purpose of this video, we're just going to use the 10 that one, that four, that one, which is the IP address of the router. You don't need to specify another DNS address, but again, you can use the Google's public DNS address. There are many others that you can choose from, but just to make this video and make things simple, I'm just gonna use the 8.8.8.8 that eight address. And then click the save button. That's going to apply the settings. And under properties, you can see that we have the configuration that we assigned. And you can open the web browser and go to a website. And you can see that everything it's working. If you ever want to go back to the dynamic configuration just click on edit and on the top just select the automatic dhcp option and then click the save button whatever method you use it is always recommended to assign an ip address within the network range and outside of the dhcp server scope to allow proper connectivity and avoid address conflicts since multiple devices sharing the same IP address may cause networking conflict that will prevent them from connecting to the internet. And that's it. Those are four ways that you can use to successfully set a static TCP IP configuration on Windows 10. Remember to like the video, leave your comments, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet. And I just hope this video was informative for you and I would like to thank you for viewing.